In this video, we will see how WebTLS extensible network allows you to deploy different choice of, of topologies in a very simple manner. Attach is the topology we will use for this demo. By default, the VH devices create a full mesh topology, meaning the VHs communicate between each other directly. They create BFT sessions between them and communicate directly. Now we will create a policy to change the communication between H1 and H2 to follow a more hub and spoke model. That is, all traffic between them will flow through the VH at the hub. Let's take a quick look at the traffic flow between the edges now. Let me go to edge 1 and the traffic analysis tab put a subnet behind edge 2. As you can see, the traffic now flows directly between, between to edge 2. Similarly, let's take a look from edge 2 towards edge 1. Now we can see that this flow is also directly between the two VH devices. Now let's take a look at the routing table. Here we can see that the destination behind VH2 is being learned from 4.4.102 which is the system IP address of VH2. Similarly, the same should be seen on the VH2 as well. We can see that it's getting learned from VH1. Now let's define a new policy to control the traffic path between the two edge devices. So let's create a new control policy. Let's name it hub and spoke. Here we'll choose route uh, because we are trying to control the route distribution. And let's rename this to BR1 and BR2. Let's add our first sequence and then match the site. Here we'll choose uh, edge one and then on the actions tab by default which is rejected we'll accept and then change the T lock to that of the hub. The T lock IP is the system IP address of the hub VH. Let's use the internet color and then encapsulation as IPsec. Let's save it. So we are matched on H1 and then change the T log to the hub. Let's copy this and create one similar for the H2. We'll leave the parameters the same and save it. So here we are matching edge 2 and then changing the t-log to the hub. And then we'll go to the default action, which by default rejects all the routes. So we'll go ahead and accept them. Let's go ahead and hit save. You can view the policy. Let's go to preview and this is the policy that will actually get pushed when we activate this. So let's go back to our policies and now assemble this policy. Let's name this again as hub and spoke. And here choose our control policy that we just now defined and add our site list to it. I will add the sites on the, on the outward direction. So we'll add both our V edges. And then save it. So this is the configuration. So let's go ahead and save. Let's preview the configuration again. So this is the configuration that will be pushed to the vSmart, which then will get applied across the V edges. Now let's go ahead and activate this. Now it has been successfully pushed. 
So let's go ahead and first check the routing tables. On the VH1, now you can see that the destination for the subnets behind VH2 has a next hop of 404-200, which is the T lock of the hub. And similarly, let's check on the VH2. Now here we can see that the the subnets behind VH1 were earlier uh, pointing to the VH1 directly and it has now changed to the hub IP address. So traffic by default should now flow towards the hub between these when we try to do any communication between these two devices. So let's quickly check this. So as you can see now, the traffic towards VH2 is now flowing through the hub. And similarly, let's go back to our VH2 and do a similar simulation. And as expected, this also flows through the hub. Thus, it's very easy in Viptela to actually create multiple topologies uh, by simply creating policies. Let's check the traffic flow towards site 3 from site 2. Now you can see the, the traffic to site 3 actually flows directly. So now this shows that it's how simple it is to basically create the topologies that we want with Viptela. So we can have certain uh, branches communicating via the hub while certain branches communicating directly between each other. And those are very simple by just creating different policies as per our requirements. That's it. Thanks for watching.